Video of a dog being placed in a dryer first sparked anger online over the weekend, and now Dallas police are handing this investigation over to another department. Jason Allen on it all for us in Dallas with the new developments, and this happened in the last half hour. What's going on? Yeah, right, Doug. In the last 30 minutes, Dallas police told us they determined that this incident actually happened in Louisville, so they're handing all their information over to that department to take over. Earlier in the day, Dallas ISD believed they had, had identified this girl as a student in their district, a girl who laughs in the video and telling followers that she believes the dog liked what she was about to do. Appearing to be encouraged by her followers on Instagram Live, a young girl calls her dog over, picks him up, and puts him in a clothes dryer. <coughs> then with a scream, she turns the appliance on, clapping and howling with laughter until opening the door to let the dog out a few seconds later. <coughs> that poor dog is all I can think. Uh, I don't want to see the video again. It's so awful. Laura Davies with the SPCA of Texas said the video was brought to the organization's attention over the weekend. Within hours of someone sharing it on Twitter, it started to spread with calls from viewers to find the girl in what they saw as a case of animal cruelty. Because there are no charges at this time and the girl appears to be a teenager, CBS 11 has blurred her face and is not identifying her. It's a Charles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that this case is being pursued by Dallas Police Department. And so my hope, I think all our hopes, is that this person is found and held accountable for their actions. Texas animal cruelty laws prohibit torture, defining it as anything that causes unjustifiable pain and suffering. It's a felony, punishable by time in prison and a fine. Criticism has also been directed tonight toward some of the girl's followers who were watching along in that video as it happened, some of them reacting with laughter to what they were watching. We're live tonight in Dallas. Jason Allen, CBS.